Hello, hello. Welcome to day two, the semifinals and finals of the female competitive circuit tournament number two. I am Brett. This is my first time going to be casting these tournaments. Definitely excited for day two. And uh, here we have Valhalla going up against Powerpuffs, uh, the two teams that came out of the EU side of the bracket going head to head. Winner will be advancing to the international uh, portion of the tournament where they will play the winner of the NA matchup that we have coming up next uh, immediately after this. That match will be between, I believe, thank you, next, and I don't know the other team's name off the top of my head. But anyways, it will be a good one. Uh, MS Scara or something along those lines. Either way, this is going to be going for sure. Looks like here we're going to see the side of... Uh, Bahala come out with a Bastion Fera Sombra and the side of we lost someone to be honest guys I'm not even gonna sit here paused we're gonna kick it back to the lobby we might as well and uh, get a reroll here um, while we're waiting for the person to get back we are going to kick it to <laughs> another quick break I apologize about that uh, she is getting invited now we'll be back momentarily don't go anywhere Right, guys welcome back 
Uh, sorry about that delay. We did have to get uh, Ray back in here. She didn't like the Ferris skin she had. Had to do a quick swap. That is no problem, though. This is definitely going to be a uh, a good a good matchup here between these two these two teams. So I'm excited for this one. We saw that Bastion Bastion Sombra Farah of uh, they're going to come back out on that from the side of Valhalla. Meanwhile, the side of Powerpuff they are going to stick to this McCree Farah. So definitely going to be some interesting comps here. Um, and uh, excited to see how this one works out here on Well as this first fight is making its way here, coming towards the point. We are going to see uh, Arissa Diva, an interesting comp, and then that single tank, that Pharah right now of Ray getting a ton of value and immediately going to take down Perfection. And then Bam going to take down the Sombra of Pam as well. IX does take out Ray in the Pharah v Pharah matchup, which is going to be big now as we're probably going to see the side of. Uh, of oh, power buffs though. Move up, take position here on the point, get those picks required, and I start to cap this uh, this point here and get the first percentages built up and start taking that lead here on Ilio. So for some staggered damage uh, here now as they are putting in poke. That Bastion still coming out from White Wolf. That's gonna get taken down as well. This pharmacy is gonna make its life difficult for sure with that pocket. Um, it's interesting to see how they continue to try to run that here. We are going to have that res coming in. Uh, and immediately we are now going to see this fight making its way back around towards the point. And Ray continues to win these fair matchups. Those are going to be huge. And then, oh man, a huge barrage. Ray with a 5k absolutely going off right now for the side of Powerpuff. And I, I missed yesterday's matchups, but I got to assume she was getting a lot of value yesterday as well. As this Pharah right now is absolutely on fire. And uh, yeah, we're gonna immediately see White Wolf swap onto that Diva. I think that was the right call. Uh, that Bastion just wasn't gonna get it done here. We do see the team now making its way up the point, but it's just so much poke getting put in, so little pressure being put on Ray. Birdie gonna get a big pick there onto the Sombra of a mole on the back as well. And uh, that is gonna be huge. Now, as they are down a player, we are gonna see them continue to try to fight this here from Valhalla, but really this is an all power puff from the start here on Ilios and um, this is definitely going to be making their life difficult. They're just kind of standing there, really allowing for Ray to get value. She has another barrage. See if she looks to use it. Oh, but the Widow comes out. That's going to be a huge swap, and they're going to take down Ray. We're still going to see the two-man high moon come out of damn fighter, and uh, that's probably going to be another team fight win in favor of power, even though they did get that pick on the Pharah. We are going to see uh, Birdie get the mech here. But other than that, this has been all okay. The Widow really getting value now against this Farah, getting a lot done. But we're coming down to what could be the last team fight if the side of Valhalla isn't able to get something going. Bam, gonna take down that Widow. That's gonna allow for Ray to probably get aggressive with Barrage. But Ray isn't saying that IX gets aggressive with hers, takes down three. That's gonna be a team fight win for the side of Valhalla. They are gonna start grabbing some points here. And uh, listen, it's not over until it's over. Although they let, gave up 99%, they definitely are still very much in this uh, in this map. And if I fix and keep landing shots like that, this could uh, this could definitely swing back in favor of uh, of the side of Valhalla. We are going to see uh, the same exact comp come here out of power. They're not going to change anything. Just going to look for a regroup. They do have some ults to work with. Let's see if they're able to get anything going with them or if this is going to ultimately be too much for them here as uh, this team fight starts to engage from the side of uh, of power. We are going to see that boop come in. IX trying to be frustrating on the back side and Reagan actually kill herself um, trying to barrage. So that's going to be huge, but Birdie picks up two, taking out the Mercy as well. It's going to be a 4v4 here with both teams missing a Mercy. They're both their teams missing their Mercy. IX picks up two, though. Ban getting one as well. This looks like it could be a team fight win for the side of Valhalla. Unfortunately, they gave up point control in the middle of that team fight, so Power wasn't giving up any percent there. Um, and uh, Valhalla is going to probably clean these ones up. Yep, down goes Ray, although she did the mech White Wolf there towards the end. Very close fight there. Unfortunately for Valhalla, they did not have point control that whole time. Otherwise, this would probably be almost getting close to the last team fight here. Nonetheless, though, a big comeback now. White Wolf gonna, I believe, jumped off trying to get mech back. I don't know if she got boots, to be honest. Although she's not gonna be back very quick. We are gonna see Ray get dropped by the Widow once again. 
uh, but then getting res back into this one. Ultimates for both teams are up. I think it's going to come down to which one uses them better, right? Getting aggressive, taking down the Widowmaker. Here comes that high knee from Bam, going to take down Laver Rose. This is looking big for the side of power as they are trying to close this one out. That is going to be three dead. Here comes the Bugle Bomb over the top. It's got to go big. It's only going to clean up Bam. No ult left available for the side of Valhalla apart from that barrage, but the uh, IX is dead. This should just be cleanup time now for the side of Powerpuff. We are going to see that beat drop come in from Roby. She is going to get dropped. White Wolf getting demecked. This one should be getting cleaned up. Here comes IX. So keep an eye on IX. Oh, and big shots from Bam. Uh, now with it in overtime. Just got to clean up the Diva and the Mercy. White Wolf trying to stay alive, though. Trying to be frustrating. Uh, it looks like it's just delaying the inevitable, though. As the side of Powerpuff clean up the last few kills. And are going to take point one here on Helios. Uh, in a little bit more dramatic fashion than I think they thought when they were up 99 to nothing. You think they thought probably they'd clean this one up pretty quick? But nonetheless, um, it is, uh, now, so, uh, looking like this could be definitely a competitive matchup. I think the big matchup to keep an eye on is Ray going up against this Widow of, I don't really know how to, I'm going to go with Am, I'm just going to stick with Am to avoid butchering it. Um, a, a mole. Uh, I'm gonna just stick with Am anyways. Uh, Am on this Widow going up against Ray on the Farah. This is gonna be a matchup to keep an eye on. This is definitely a strong, strong Widowmaker point. And then vice versa with Bam going up against IX. Both Farahs had uh, had little stretches there where they kind of took over. So let's keep an eye on these hit scans to see if they can negate them or at least make their lives difficult. Also the difference in tanks. For the side of Valhalla, no shield tank. They're gonna go with the Diva Roadhog playing a little bit more aggressive. Meanwhile, a, uh, the dive tanks for the side of Powerpuff. Keep an eye on that. See how this one works out immediately. Bam is going to take some poke. Going down to about half health, and I'm all going to win that first uh, Widow v. Widow matchup here. That should really uh, open up here for IX to get aggressive, and that is going to help them take down Ray as well. It is now a 4v6. Hook coming in from White Wolf going to take uh, this, the uh, Kirby, or Birdie, I apologize, out of mech. A big boop coming in from Lavender. However, if uh, the side of... Uh, Valhalla just play together here and focus onto this point. They should be able to clean this one up and ham on this Widowmaker. It's getting a lot of value right now. Uh, definitely gonna be, uh, gonna have a lot of pressure on herself to try to continue to make plays here for the side of Valhalla if they're gonna get back into this fight here on Helios. We aren't gonna see any team comp changes coming in. It looks like they're gonna kind of stick with uh, what they have. So this is gonna be interesting for sure. And now we have these uh, team fights engaging around the back side here. Uh, big hook coming in from Wolf, gonna put some pressure onto this evil Winston engaging here as well, trying to be difficult, trying to frustrate these guys, but oh my god, and continuing to get value out of this Widowmaker, really making life difficult for the side of Powerpuff, and the Pharmacy's trying to jump on her head, but she's not letting him, just being able to stay alive and tight, she's finally gonna drop for Ray, dive coming in, big hook coming out of White Wolf, gonna take down Ray here, Heat drop coming in as well from Lavender. We have a Diva Bomb from Birdie. There are a lot of ults getting used. Birdie picking up two. Those are absolutely huge. As this fight was looking like it was going in favor of Valhalla. Now the side of Powerpuff might be back into this one, but then some ults coming back in as well. Diva Bomb coming out from Perfection. Gonna clean these up. Valhalla gonna win another. Keep in. Oh, the hook to clean it up from White Wolf. Taking down Bam Fighter. Absolutely huge. Birdie gonna hop off the map. Valhalla looking very strong. Swinging this one back in their favor. Now, they were forced to use quite a few ults there to try to um, to win that one. Meanwhile, the side of uh, Powerpuff does have the Barrage and the uh, the Mercy ultimate. So let's keep an eye on these as they uh, as they happen. We are going to see that Arissa swap coming out here as well um, with the Diva. Interesting comp there. And White Wolf going to continue to get value out of this Roadhog. Really just, just landing almost every hook, it seems like. And... Um, Ray does take down Am, and then we're going to see her pop that barrage. IX picks up two, though, taking down the Sombra and Ray on this Farah. Going to be about a 4v4 here, on to the point. Rez coming in from both Mercies, bringing back some of these characters to try to make this fight last a little bit longer. You're going to see White finally miss hook. It's been forever since she's missed. And we have now the Orisas trying to put down some damage with those pulls, trying to allow for these Farahs to get it extra splash damage. Ray gonna get dropped by Perfection. This is looking like it's gonna be Valhalla's uh, point here on Elio. We are seeing a kick onto the Diva Mech and White Wolf being dropped as well. B-drop coming in. Ix trying to stay alive. Actually, Powerpuff might be able to come back around. They have the picks. It's just Am left. And if this is anything like well, the team that goes up 99-0 is not guaranteed to win this cleanly as uh, we saw the side of Valhalla right back into it on well. 
now it's vice uh the roles have changed here as power pop is going to need to try to scrape back into it here on uh, ruins and immediately though we have them putting pressure onto this orissa cern trying to get back but they are getting aggressive onto her she is able to get her pull down here comes that diva bomb over the top from birdie not going to get anybody we are going to see cern drop though actually pretty was able to demet perfection that res coming in on a cern is going to be huge as now the uh, numbers game is back in favor of power B drop coming in from Roby, however, trying to throw a top of huge EMP from Bam, getting rid of the B drop, and absolutely swinging this one back in favor of the side of power as they are now going to win this team fight with ease. That is a huge play by Bam on that Sombra, really enabling the side of power to win that team fight uh, and get, keeping them alive on this on this point. And now we're at 50%, maybe two fights left if you're power. You have this barrage. If Ray, we've seen her take over fights with this before. If she can get value and open this team fight up for you here, you can really put yourself in a position to potentially close out this uh, this map on Ilios and go up one zero. Big opening pick though from White Wolf taking down Bam. We are now going to see this team fight engaging here over by the ruins and. Uh, Ray's got to get aggressive with the barrage, in my opinion, with a bunch of ults getting used right now. Here comes the Diva Bomb that's going to take down Lavender. Cern's ult is going to get blown up as well. Ray getting aggressive, trying, only getting one. The rest is getting eaten. Birdie takes out the supports. Huge Diva Bomb. That might swing it <laughs> back in favor for the side of power. We have the whole hog getting popped. Not going to get anything to taking Birdie out of that mech. Perfection going to take down Kairu. This one, now they're going to remake Perfection. I think it's just White and Perfection. Oh, the Sombra is back as well of Am. This is this is last team fight, winner of this, and Power Buff. They might close this one out. It looked like for the side of uh, Valhalla, like they had a map here, at least to force this one to a round three on Ilios. However, it is just IX there. IX is going to drop Power Buff, unless his hand can touch. Gonna at least trigger overtime here. The White Warrior or White Wolf, I apologize, is not long for this life. And that is gonna do it. Power Puff gonna go up 1-0. An incredible comeback here on Ruins. It looked like Valhalla had it, and they were unable to. And with that being said, we will be right back momentarily. Play of the game. Nice to be appreciated. Epic. <laughs> Thanks for the love.
right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be going to Dorado here for map two with Powerpuff, the team in blue on defense, up 1-0 after an impressive Ilios and the side of Valhalla trying to scrape back into this one now. We are going to see that Widow come out of Am again. She got so much value on, on Ilios, really trying to just disrupt this uh, Fera of Ray. Meanwhile, the Hanzo coming in from Banfighter, who I think ultimately really was kind of the, the catalyst there on Ilios, really enabled a couple fights for them. Not making the flashy plays, we are going to immediately see this Farah come in and just get a ton of value here of IX. Ray going to take out one as well before actually killing herself. Uh, nobody moving the payload right now as this fight is engaging on this high ground. Uh, Bam going to get Rez back into this one. Birdie getting the mech. This one could still go either way. Lavender on the end taking out IX as Lava Rose was uh, trying to res White Wolf. Bam Fighter going to then clean up Lava Rose. I would say right now probably advantage in favor of Powerpuff. However, and getting that pick onto Birdie and then immediately Perfection taking down Bam. This one is going to swing back in favor of uh, Valhalla as it is just now the Orissa and Anna alive. Pharmacy actually making their way back as well. Lavender going to take down Rude who has been, uh, Lavender been kind of fragging on this Anna so far before she gets dropped by IX. And the defense might reestablish here. Kind of a trades game right now. Back and forth. Neither team getting a clean team wipe. And it's allowing for Ray to try to get value out of this barrage. Birdie trying to eat as much of this poke coming in at her. He is able to take perfection out of mech. And then Birdie cleaning up that baby diva. This should be a, uh, a nice little stop here for the side of Powerpuff. As they are now almost halfway through this defense. Really haven't had to win a team fight. They've just gotten a couple picks. Uh, just waited for the team to come back and played very smart with Birdie getting a huge stagger there on the Mercy. This has been a very good start here for the side of Powerpuff. And uh, Perfection though, gonna take down Ray. They're looking for this res and Birdie with another big play. She's had got a lot of value out of these Matrixes, just being really smart, keeping her team alive with them, allowing for them to make little aggressive plays. I think that's something that goes underrated with Divas. You always talk about the bombs or how they do many, many pharmacy. Getting a lot of value out of that Matrix, right? As I'm saying that actually, gonna eat a lot of IXs, although she is able to clean up Bam. Am gonna take down Sir next, but then Ray and Birdie both get picks of their own. This one again could still go either way. Ray gotta be careful in that back line, trying to get value. Here comes that Diva Bomb over the top, not gonna get anybody. Down goes Lavender, however, and this one looks like it could be going in favor of Valhalla as they have the picks required. Ray does get a pick and then comes in with the barrage. Absolutely huge. Turns and gonna get more value. Ray, a huge play on the Fera, doing exactly what she needed to do there. And again, it looked like Valhalla had the team fight one. They got the picks required, but they're unable to clean up the last few characters. And that, that's just all the side of power needs, as uh, we've seen so many of these uh, these individuals just win team fights with ultimates or just getting a bunch of kills in a row. Absolutely huge here for the side of power as they are now looking to potentially get this full hold with one minute left. No ults available for the side of Valhalla as power is looking really good. Poke continuing here now onto the choke. We do have that the uh, these Arissa pulls coming out of CERN have been so big. And they're gonna clean up Bam. He's had a hard time staying alive this map. I'm not gonna lie. Uh kinda kinda struggling, getting getting really focused down. You have that Diva Bomb coming in from Burgio, and that's gonna take out the Farah. That's gonna be really tough for the side of Valhalla as now they need to back up and hit this choke. They're gonna D-neck this Diva. This is gonna be a down to a last fight situation. Ray maybe getting a little too over aggressive. They're not gonna Oh, down goes the Mercy as well. The pharmacy down. In comes the Bob. It went a little too far and gets hacked actually. The Bob's just kind of taking a standing nap in the back line right now. Although that missing pharmacy is absolutely huge, and this could be Valhalla's chance to get in here and try to make the play. Cernex gonna get dropped as well. Down goes Bam. Birdie taken out of Menk. Valhalla gonna do it. And finally, cap point one here on Dorado. Uh, Lavender might be trying to stagger. I think she's probably gonna try to get out. She's trying to pick up her Mercy. Oh, they're actually coming back in. Sombra's here for Bam, gonna get melted immediately. Supports only ones on the point, but they're trying to stay alive. Down goes uh, Kuryu, who's just the Moira of Lavender. The Diva does get back of Birdie. Uh, they're going, they're popping ults, their tanks are here. The side, they don't want to get this one up. The Barrage gonna get popped though. He's gonna pick up two. Birdie a little late on that defense matrix. Point gonna go in favor of Valhalla. And now after power, you can gotta back up and rotate because uh, this one is. Uh, Yes, this is where this payload can start rolling here if you don't group up and you don't uh, throw together a clean team fight. Huge play there out of IX with the barrage. Ray does have hers here for this next team fight. However, uh, power uh, the side of Valhalla, I apologize, doing everything we needed to do finally kept that first point.
and uh, now we are seeing this one start to make its way through the street space here on Dorado Power. Playing smart, waiting for that group up, making sure they have everybody. They have these dive tanks available as Cern is going to pop on this Winston. Ray going to take some poke here on the fair. Here we come now. Birdie going to take down Ajax. That's absolutely huge. Here comes the engage. Birdie getting taken out of mech. Oh, Ray cleaning up Laver, and this should be all it needs. The pharmacy down. Down goes the, uh, the, um, Ash as well, cleaning up the Lucio and the Diva, and that is going to be in huge team wins of the side of power. And we have a minute and a half left. You're probably looking at two team fights, maybe a, a staggered one as well, depending how long these take here. So power with, the, with uh, only having this Diva bomb up, we got a couple ults available for the side of uh, Valhalla. I really like the Ash swap. We've seen Amp switch onto this Ash. She's played a lot of different DPS roles for this team of Valhalla. This Ash seems like she's getting good value out of it. Here comes her second Bob since switching onto it. IX does clean up Ray, and now we are going to see that Bob <laughs> trying to lay down some damage, but really nobody's peeking it as they're just giving Valhalla this range right now. And then they're probably going to look for a re-engage. I like this play by Power because that Bob is going to be around the corner here and kind of be uh, non-existent. And here we come now as this dive is engaged. Big EMP, absolutely huge from Bam. Exactly what they needed. However, Birdie and Cern both getting dropped as Birdie actually gets, just gets taken out of mech. Cern getting res back into this one. Ray with that, that AOE, taking the view out of mech. Winston here, one shot from White Wolf. Able to get away though and stay alive. We are going to see Am drop. This should be a team fight win in favor of the side of power. Valhalla just staggering, trying to stay alive. And uh, this is going to be coming down to probably last chance here for the side of Valhalla as they're going to have about 20 seconds left. They have Diva Bomb and Farah uh, ultimate to work with. However, the side of um, power have that Winston ult. Well, basically have Diva, basically have Lucio. And I'm sure Ray is going to land enough poke here as they're engaging to have this barrage as well. Advantage in favor of power, but Am swapping out of this Widow. This can be sneaky. She can get an open up pick here in this fight. Uh, it could be absolutely good. She is going to that flank, so I don't know how much time you're going to have. As this Diva Bomb comes over the top, it's going to pick up the supports. Power should be able to close this one out. Am just finally getting to that flank. You gotta just focus people on the point. The Winston goes down. Here comes the Barrage. Just trying to clean him up. It's just the Widow left alive. And she's not even gonna look for the engage. This is going to be a impressive hold for Power here on the streets phase of Dorado, doing everything uh, in their power to close this one out. Absolutely huge. Um, Huge, huge, huge stuff coming in from the side of uh, of power, doing exactly what they needed to do there on defense. As uh, it looked like for a second, Valhalla was um, able to potentially swing this one back around. However, um, it is uh, it, power doing everything they needed to really make it some big plays. And again, I, I got to emphasize that Birdie on this Diva has been a real matchup problem. For the side of Valhalla, as Birdie has really just been frustrating IX, trying to apply pressure onto her, making that fair just not get as much value as it realistically should. And then that's allowing for the DPS of Ray and Bam to really just kind of have room to, to operate and try to make plays. And that's exactly what they were able to do. So we are going to see now if Valhalla on defense can uh, maybe clutch up and get that first point hold or maybe get aggressive in the street space and shut them down. Otherwise, I, I would have to say Power is looking very good to advance to a, what I believe would be their back-to-back -back, um, international uh, championship. Uh, can, is it confirmation? Did Power make the finals two weeks ago? Yeah, so Power would be in their back-to-back -back international championship match against the NA team that we'll be seeing next. If they're able to close this one out, Valhalla trying to play spoiler, though. They're going to have to play some excellent defense here. And that's starting with a triple DPS comp, which I actually kind of like. They're really going to try to put pressure on this era. However, bam, with that opening pick, absolutely huge on the on the Widow. And where she died, that Mercy is not going to be able to do anything. And now this Bastion of Birdie, who's not on the Diva, but actually on a Bastion, is going to get a ton of value. I know there was a little controversy about some Bastion play yesterday. Birdie doesn't care, pulling the Bastion out right now. And this is really going to make defense, I think, hard here for the side of Valhalla, as they're just going to need to kind of play angles, because this Bastion is going to be raining down damage, and bam, with three opening kills, absolutely huge. No shield up right now for the side of Valhalla. This is just going to be damage raining in on them, as Birdie, Ray, Cern, all cleaning these ones up. A very impressive start here for Power. They are going to cruise into the streets phase, and if you are Valhalla, you need to play absolutely flawlessly from this point out if you intend on holding here on Street Space. 
And I mean, Amol getting that clean that kill onto Ray is big, but with Perfection dropping as well, I mean, you don't have your shield tank. And with this Bastion now, should be able to rain down a ton of damage. I guess the side of Valhalla is going to play passive. They're going to wait, make them come around this corner. I think that's smart. Really, you're kind of a one fight situation either way. You're probably not getting two fights out of this. It makes sense to try to group up. They got to try to land some uh, some shots onto this Bastion, though. And I think Birdie is just going to be putting down a ton of damage. And yep, going right for that shield, just going to melt that thing down. Keep an eye on White Wolf up on this high ground. On this Hanzo. If uh, she can land a couple arrows, maybe on the Birdie. And Cern going to get taken down. That's big. It's now Birdie's not going to have shields. Am doing exactly what she needed to do. Robe going to take down Ray as well. This one could swing in either way. Cern going to get brought back into this one. That's going to allow... Oh, and Birdie going to pop this Bastion ult. They want to close it out here. They don't want this going any longer, but Birdie going to drop. Lavender does get a fat purple. That's going to... But they're not able to connect the Hanzo as he was one... Or, or she, I apologize. One shot and, and purple. And nonetheless, we're going to see the set of Valhalla get a big hole here. And now Birdie going to have to swap onto this Diva. And that was... Uh, that was Played pretty well there by the side of Valhalla, as I did not think they were going to be able to break that pirate ship style play, but they were able to do it. And now we're going to see Birdie swap onto this Diva, bam, onto the Widow, or staying on the Widow, I apologize, that is what she started on. And uh, ults in favor is still of Valhalla, a really big hold. I mean, listen, they have their work cut out for them. They have four minutes to try to hold this payload where it is. But nonetheless, you got to start somewhere. They got that first hold. The payload is moving backwards right now. Bam gonna take down White. Cern gonna get cleaned up by IX. It is gonna be a 5v5. Bam with another big pick onto IX. That's gonna swing numbers in favor of power. Look for them to get aggressive. Look for them to try to make a play. Here they come now. Ray gonna get dropped by Anne. That's a big one. We are seeing the Lucio of Lavender just trying to move that payload. Here comes the opposing Lucio of Robe hopping on the point. We are gonna see White clean up Kuru. That's gonna be a big one as they're not gonna have their mercy. Birdie taking down perfection. White gonna get another one on the Bam. White getting a lot of value here. Popping his her ultimate on the payload as well. And uh, beat drop coming in. I think another team fight winning in favor of Valhalla. We're now a minute through this. Uh, absolutely big stuff coming in right now. You gotta love what you're seeing out of the side of uh, of Valhalla on defense. Power does have some ults to work with, but I mean they got the picks there in power, and Valhalla was still able to hold on. White Wolf really went big on that team fight. So here we come again now as this fight is engaging. We do see that Diva hopping up onto high ground, trying to take down Anne. Anne is going to be absolutely one shot. Ray going to take down that Orisa ult. Lavender cleaning up the Orisa herself. IX going to drop, are going to drop Ray, but then we're going to see Cern clean up Anne. Rez coming in. It is a 6v4, I believe, here. They've got to clean up these kills. Roby going down. White Wolf trying to stay alive in this Diva mech. We do see IX get a barrage kill. Mercy Rez coming in is going to be big, but all the kills going in favor of Powerpuff. This could be it. Diva Bomb getting launched by Bird is going to be a little long as the players on the tail of the one that's got to be dropped here. The hand is trying to stay alive of perfection. She's just barely hanging on. She goes down. Power advancing to their second straight international championship where they will be playing the NA champion in a very impressive series here against Valhalla. GG's to both teams as uh, this was definitely a good one. Play the game here to birdie on this fashion. I am not surprised as uh, she was a problem here to start this map off. Seeing her rain down this damage, gonna reload that, taking down the Resing Mercy, gonna focus down the Orisa, the Lucio. Don't peek her! Don't peek her! Don't peek her! Just absolutely melting. GG's nonetheless. Guys, we'll be right back with our NA champions. Don't go anywhere.
forever folks changing like the weather cold wind and all around toxic people being severed like leaves falling in september
slowly In a morning, man, it's time to end the ride They need to slowly Over those can lift me up this time You were the only One who got me tripping up inside All the words you told me Am I reading something different from your eyes? See you from moving We'll be right back. 